Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple has just released the first developer beta of macOS Sequoia 15.2. The new updates make a couple of new Apple intelligence features available for testers, including Image Playground and a new ChatGPT integration in Siri and writing tools. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section. Here, under Beta Updates, select macOS Sequoia 15.2 Developer Beta from the drop-down, and then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta update size is around 14.94 gigabytes for my device. Click on Update Now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta, and the build number is 24C5057P. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. This macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies. This beta includes upcoming features powered by Apple Intelligence. To try the Apple Intelligence beta, Join the waitlist in settings, and you will be notified as soon as it is ready for your device. Both device language and Siri language must be set to, to English US, English UK, English CA, English AU, English IE, English or English ZA. Apple Intelligence is available on Macs with M1 and later. Apple Intelligence is not currently available in China. The biggest addition includes the integration of chat GPT across writing tools, which will be able to help users rewrite, proofread, and summarize text across any apps. Other notable features include notification summaries, priority messages in mail, transcription summaries for phone calls, cleanup and memory movies and photos, and Siri updates. Moving forward and talking about the macOS Sequoia 15.2 beta release notes. The macOS 15.2 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.2 beta. The SDK comes bundled with X16.2, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding Activity Kit resolved issues, fixed, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Activity Kit is linked. Regarding Authentication Services resolved issues, fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if Authorization Controller perform autofill assisted request is invoked. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new features, Screen Capture Kit is available for Catalyst applications. Developers must use the macOS 15, 2 or later. Regarding SwiftUI new features, for macOS apps linked against macOS 15, 2 SDK, the on-scroll geometry change for a action modifier can be used with List to post geometry changes for the List owned scroll view. Regarding Swift UI resolved issues, fixed compiling in the Swift 6 language mode might cause an at entry error due to static property default value is not concurrency safe because non sendable type. Regarding virtualization known issues, installation of macOS Sequoia 15, 2 bed MVMs. Regarding widget kit resolved issues, fixed iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly if Live Activities API in Widget Kit are linked. Also, for now, Genmoji isn't available with macOS 15.2. It's unclear if it will be added during this beta cycle. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, 
Check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.